Ja, ah, sit my, ah, sit my, this, ah, what he bought. Ah, so I am on my way out. I'm about 10 minutes later than I would like to be. Probably closer to 15 minutes later than I'd like to be, but oh well. Sometimes that's the way it goes on, um, what is this? Food pantry day! And there's a bit of a mess in the front room. Uh, a lot of it is um, projects that I started because I don't know why. I've been on a real, ah, sorry, I've been on a real tear for uh, uh, crocheting lately. And uh, it's something to do with my hands. So um, now what happens? Now I... Uh, I put on my, uh, my ring belt, and I go off to the church, and because, uh, privacy, some people don't like to have their faces blasted all over the internet when they're out, um, at a food pantry, I'm gonna turn this off until I get back, uh, just so that anybody who's new to one of these videos of mine knows why the hell there's gonna be a gap <laughs> between uh, me going and then coming back so yeah it's food pantry day I do this uh, every four weeks so about once a month um, hopefully I will be back with and unpacked with sufficient time to you know not be terribly late for game night but I told um, couple of my friends who do that every week um, don't, you know, expect to see me there because, I don't know, well, yeah, it's on a, mm -mm -mm. it's at a University of Michigan building, it's technically hosted by some of the um, grad students at the engineering department, um, one of my friends who goes she was one of the more instrumental students in putting this game night together, and that's why this belt is tight. It's got my um, jacket in it. Since this is supposed to be one of the loose, since this is supposed to be the loose one, and uh, ha, ha But um, but yeah. So she was one of the instrumental students in getting this started. But now she's a professor at the university, and um, in the engineering department, she teaches uh, discrete math. I always joke when people ask her about that, like, oh, well, what, what do you teach then? You know, they ask, like, you know, um, if she is indeed a grad student, because, you know, they hadn't seen her at other um, engineering grad program classes. And she says, oh, I'm a teacher. And, oh, what do you teach? Discrete math. And if they don't know what that is, or, you know, they seem to be trying to, like, you know, um, figure it out, I say, so that would be the math class that has a grinder profile. And you can always tell, like, which of the grad students, which is about half of them for some reason, or at least the ones who show up to the game night, about half of them will seem a little confused, so you can tell those are the straight ones, and the other half will get it, and you know those are the LGBT students in the grad depart in the, uh, the grad students in the engineering department, and I don't know why, like, half of them are somehow LGBT, but that just seems to be it, you know, whether they're, you know, lesbian, gay, bi, trans, whatever, that's, like I said, it seems to be like half the engineering department. But then again, Alan Turing, right? So, all right, I've been yakking too much. I'm going to go with my, uh, with my shopping cart and the big shopping cart. And yes, a folding chair, because I usually get there before they let people in. So I need somewhere to sit today because that is the kind of day my back has been having all week. So, all right. <laughs> See you in a bit. What a da, sit my de the wedding board. Ah, and this is Rowan. Did I say that in the first clip? I don't know, but I'm back. And let's get that one so that we're going off of this one. And if I'm lucky, I will have shit unpacked with just enough time to hit the food pantry, or no, not the food pantry, game night. I don't like to be more than an hour late, but I figure since my uh, friend who is one of the um, um, organizing 
kind of people for game night. Uh, so I told uh, my friend and a couple other people who were there last week toward the end that there's a chance I might not be able to make it this... God damn it. I... Uh, contains milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. Son of a bitch. How does it contain soy? Enriched f wheat flour. Uh, 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 butter, water, sugar, yeast. Less than 2%. Eggs, salt, milk, wheat, gluten, natural flavor. As sorbic acid, enzyme, soy, and or canola oil. Hmm. Okay, so since most soybean oil is refined to the point where it should not contain um, the associated um, protein, uh, so soy lecithin is the uh, is the uh, the main protein associated with uh, soy allergy and other intolerances. Uh, so since it says it, you know, contains a blend of uh, what's it say? Uh, canola with maybe some soybean oil. Um, I don't know. Uh, I can try one and see where it goes from there. Um, if I do react to it or have a mild reaction, uh, well, if I have a mild reaction, I may just suck it up and, um, finish them off, or at least as many as I can before they turn on me. Um, if I don't react, then I'll know it had the, uh, the right kind of soybean oil in it, and, you know, they were just being extra cautious with the ingredients list and allergen warning. So, let's see what we have in here. Oh my, I think this is a beet. Yes, I think this is a gigantic beet. Okay, so that's part of the produce today. Now, this is what I came here with. So, let's see. Got a big-ass beet. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. And I do have... Let's see. Uh, there's a few apples. There's, like, two potatoes. I don't know why there's exactly two potatoes, but um, that's just enough for hash browns. There's two, four, six more apples. So we've got seven apples. Huh, interesting. And a very small bunch of grapes. And this is a big-ass bag of apples. I might try my hand at making apple pie filling from scratch. Can I just undo the knot? Oh my gosh. So I got there, and there's usually one or two kids there every time I go. I'm... Yep, we've got... Uh, even more apples, and another small bunch of grapes. And two more potatoes. Exactly two potatoes in each produce bag. That is curious, isn't it? And it looks like we have another giant beet. I'm going to figure out what to do with those. So, oh, right, last month was the, uh, the horseradish. I will be back in a sec. So, I, um, I put it in the freezer for, oh gosh, well, I accidentally left the horseradish root out for a couple of days, and then, like, when I noticed it was kind of starting to, um, look less than healthy, <laughs> I put it in the freezer to eke another week or so out of it. So, this is day to the 10th I made, so I basically took my... Um, meat grinder. I accidentally have two, um, vintage, um, universal brand m meat grinders. Okay, the one that I'm keeping, I need to put this up on, uh, well, first I'll try at one of the places. So, the one I have, uh, is a little bit older. The box is older. The, uh, the little manual with it is definitely older, um, design, but basically the same thing. It's just like, this is an older, or this is a newer, um, um, printing on the box, and the manual is definitely much newer in its printing. I would date this. I mean, it's also a little bit more beat up than the one I'm keeping. Oh, and it's got, uh, and it's got ads <laughs> on the back of it for, oh, 
Okay, I might want to scan this since it gives some uh, some recommendations for. Uh, let's see, it's got this. Uh, uh, cho oh no, never mind. Chopper accessories or placement pr price list. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Uh, let's see, New Britain, Connecticut, reversible cutters. Does it say the year? I don't know, but I'm. I can tell from the font we're looking at uh, 40s at the latest. Most likely 50s. Um, early 50s is my guess. But like I said, I have one. The chopper itself, like that and the parts, are pretty much identical. It's just the uh, the manual sheet that came with it is definitely an older font. The design on the box is definitely an older um, design on the uh, sales box. Uh, but yeah, so I, the newer one, that's going to go up for sale on... Uh, Let's see, if they won't take it at any of the Depot Town shops, then I'm going to try my luck on eBay. So, I um, I cut it up in it, the smallest chunks I could, <laughs> like by hand, with a big-ass chef's knife. And let me tell you, like even like thawed out, so like all the water just kind of like, you know, frozen in crystals uh, when you stick it in the freezer, and then it shrinks back down. And that's one of the reasons you really shouldn't refreeze vegetables. Um, meat, same principle, so it will, you know, it, it will kind of damage the tissue, at which can affect the texture and flavor um, with meat. So yeah, like that's why you like, if you freeze it once, it, you're using it after you take it out, and it's thawed out. So... Like I said, even after being, um, you know, thawed out so it's a little bit limper than uh, it was when it was fresh. So, but yeah, it, it was still like I had to work my goddamn hands in there. And even, like I said, I put it in the chopper. I put it in the, uh, I put it in the grinder because you can, um, you know, finely chop vegetables with that. And I just made a basic horseradish relish that the, uh, that, uh, that canning and pickling book that I picked up, um, oh yeah, that was a dollar at the Ann Arbor District Library, the little Friends of the Library bookshop where, like I said, like, everything in there is under five dollars, most books are one or two dollars, so, so yeah, I definitely got a dollar's worth out of that, and this was, this was the entire usable portion of the horseradish. I do want to get out my pressure cooker and, like, steam this thing shut, so, but, you know, it's in vinegar as long as, you know, so vinegar, the, uh, the, the etymology is, um, translates to sour wine, so it's, uh, so obviously there is a percentage of alcohol, it's just, like, not enough to get you drunk, though if you drink enough vinegar, you probably will get drunk, <laughs> but, you know, if you drink enough, so, it, yeah, like, um, vinegar, sour wine, so there is a, a little bit of alcohol in it. Enough alcohol that, like, in, uh, during the ancient, um, Greek and Roman period, um, I think they did this in, like, other parts of that whole Mediterranean, um, area, but, like, it would be used as an antiseptic for, um, you know, like, cuts and scrapes. A lot of times, like, you know, you splash a little bit as an underarm deodorant if you're having some excessive sweating or, you know, for athlete's foot, and it's adequate. It's adequate for an antiseptic, so, um, and that's one of the reasons that it's used in a lot of homemade cleaners, so, you know, as long as the, uh, as long as I just keep just enough vinegar in this, it should be all right. I'd like to divide this up and maybe do something a little bit, you know, like, um, I'd like to, like, like I said, like, maybe divide this in about half and do, like, a fancier relish with this. But yeah, like, even cutting this up into the smallest chunks I could, <laughs> that horseradish, like, I had to really bear down on the, on the grinder to, you know, chop this up. It was obscene how how much I had to, like, bear down on it to, you know, turn the crank on this thing. But I'm very proud of myself for having accomplished that. And like I said, I, I used it. I used it. And those little tomatoes, I made a basic roast tomato sauce out of that, those. Ah, so, ah, here's a big thing of things. And we've got dried cranberries. I, oh my gosh, 
I've still got a big ass thing of dried cranberries I got last year. <laughs> like it's unopened and they're dried, so like as long as like no humidity got in there and molded, they should be fine. Um, I'd still want to like in I don't know. I, I do in oh gosh. I need to make cookies and muffins and stuff with all of this oatmeal I've got as well. Um more elbow macaroni, just your basic elbow macaroni, which is nice because Kroger does these, you know, like, fancy ass, um, uh, do I, no, I put that away, how, how inconvenient right now, yeah, I did put it away, okay, I put away a, uh, a jar of Kroger's doing these, um, these little, uh, um, 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 uh, fancy-ish, um, macaroni and cheese sauces, which is great for me because, <laughs> uh, there's something like, um, 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 I think they're usually priced at about three dollars, maybe three and a quarter, um, they're often on a sale, like, you know, you buy multiples for, like, six dollars, um, for, like, three of them, so that's often enough a sale with Kroger on those. And like I said, it's just like, it's sold as a macaroni and cheese sauce, so I get free stuff, and I get, um, you know, the elbow macaroni, and then I get, like, a fancy sauce, which has about five servings worth, five or six servings worth of sauce, so I have, like, some fancy-ish macaroni and cheese <laughs> for, you know, five servings worth for about three fifty, right? <laughs> Uh, oh, and you've got Kraft macaroni and cheese. That's nice, because I have, uh, I finally opened up one of those things of milk again. Oh my gosh, really? Navy beans. Navy beans. Brown's Best Navy beans, packed by Kelly Bean Company, Morel, Nebraska. All right, that's, um, oh, there's my other one. It was under some, uh, it was under some posters. I was... I'm doing some more, so, you see, this is a much older box design than the other one that I just had up, so, and, yeah, I put some, uh, some parchment tape on here for, just, like, to keep the box together, but, yeah, universal brand, and, um, 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 uh, no, I'm not grabbing the little, um, manual sheet, uh, cause it's underneath the grinder. And we have top ramen, and I don't think I can have this, like not even the noodles, I don't think. Yeah, it contains wheat, soy, bean, egg, and milk. Yeah, it definitely does not separate out the, uh, the noodle ingredients from the, um, from the little, uh, salt packet ingredients, so. And goddamn fire trucks have been going off for, like, the last couple of weeks. I'm sure students are doing obnoxious things. So, no salt added. Cut carrots. And we've got a thing of unpeeled apricot halves in extra light syrup. Uh, better than heavy syrup. I don't like goddamn syrup with my canned fruits. I really, I really don't need that. I don't need that. More peanut butter. Like I've said before, I'm going to have peanut butter for the rest of my natural life because of this. And Campbell's chicken noodle soup. And chicken stock egg noodles with all the things. Chicken meat contains less than 2%. Salt, chicken fat, water, monosodium, sodium glutamate, cornstarch, modified food starch. Uh, sometimes that's basically soy. Uh, dehydrated chicken broth, cane sugar. Why do they put sugar in this? Uh, flavoring, beta carotene, up for color. Dehydrated onions, yeast extract, yep, soy protein isolate. Nope, can't have this either. Another thing of shelf-stable milk, a whole quart, right? Yep. And Murnau is sneezing. I was picking up in the front room earlier this week, and he has... Actually, he got out the... He got out this... He sneezed out this huge booger earlier today. Apparently, he's still got one in there that he's trying to get back out. Uh, but yeah, he was working on this huge-ass booger for a little over a day, and the last time he sneezed out something that enormous... It hit me in the shoulder. If you've been watching my Twitter, you've, um, no, 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 Instagram. I've been putting it in, like, little text posts on the Instagram stories, and, uh, and that's what's going on with that. But, yeah, uh, if you've been following the Instagram saga of Murnau's booger, he sneezed out a giant one earlier today. Uh, more of this cheap, you know, very basic, traditional pasta sauce. Oh, dark red 
kidney beans. Fancy! Michigan made brand. Oh my gosh. And that's a brand that has not changed their design in a good um, 40 or 50 years. That's wonderful. I love it. Yep. Dark red kidney beans. Water, salt, calcium chloride, and EDTA. Not sure what that is, but I'm sure it'll kill me eventually. And we've got an ominous can of pork with juices. I've made some pretty decent tacos out of that. And another name brand Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios with a real honey. So, oh my gosh, I learned the hard way that um, at least the, uh, the regular Cheerios don't really make the best substitute for popcorn. And I say that because, oh my gosh, ready to cook young chicken without neck and giblets. Okay, so this is just a whole ass chicken. So, I'm gonna figure out where in the freezer to put this. If I can't find room in the freezer, then I'm just gonna put it in the pressure cooker or something. This is the sole meat <laughs> this month for me. Oh gosh, did I go on about the, uh, oh gosh. So yeah, when I got there, there was this child who was screeching for like 10 minutes straight, I had to step out of the uh, of the room. Like I had to step outside and they got me when, you know, back when the child left and my name was, you know, up. But uh, so I've got four of these green teas and uh, you okay, hon? Yeah, he sneezed out this enormous booger. It, like if it wasn't for, oh gosh. And they also, oh my gosh. It's even grain-free cat food. They also gave me a couple tins of cat food because uh, one of the plainclothes sisters asked if I still have my cats because they had cat food this week. And I'm like, yeah, I've always got my cats. Always, always, always. So, yeah. Ah, uh, it's about 7.30 thereabouts. Um, hmm. In theory, if I, leave, if I put my shoes back on and leave right now... I'd be about an hour and a half late. I don't like to be more than an hour late, just because I don't like to inconvenience other people. But I think I should find a place to put the chicken, um, whether it's in the freezer or the fridge. Hopefully I have some... Hopefully I can Tetris it in somewhere and just, like, head right out, maybe. That would be nice. I'd like to do game night, especially after that child was screeching for, like, nearly ten minutes straight. Uh, most of that, like... Uh, yeah, like maybe two rows of chairs behind me, but that's just close enough that, like I said, I had to step out of the building and outside and like clear at the far corner of the building. But, you know, they just, they, they looked, you know, they, they kept an eye on me, which is nice. Um, and let me know when my name was up to come back in. But, uh, but yeah, it's like I said to, I said to them that there's a reason I don't have children, and I'm perfectly fine not having children. Like, my cats are enough. My cats drive me just nuts enough. There's also a reason that I don't babysit under five years old. Like, <laughs> that is a hard rule for me. Um, with very rare exception, but, you know, like, as a, as a general rule, I do not babysit under the age of five. And I do not have children, and if you leave your children with me, you know, you will come back at the time we set. And if you do not, uh, yeah, I, I, am, I am taking them to the fire department or something because they are not my problem at that point. <laughs> and I'm sure some people are going to think that sounds a little harsh, but I'm like, uh, no, no, I can't. I can't. You knew this when you left them with me. But, all right, I'm going to... Put the chicken away and uh, cross your fingers for me. Uh, I guess if I, I don't know, I'll figure something out if I can't make it to game night. But um, as always, uh, wear sunscreen, take care of yourselves. Um, uh, feel free to follow on like the Instagrams and the tweeters, and I've got my uh, my live journal um, fan pages for my music. You can find the music 
that I make on my Bandcamp, which is also linked below. And if you have more dollars than cents, I have my Amazon grocery wish list because my food stamps are still kind of borked up and I keep needing to go to the place and talk to his supervisor because, yeah, um, uh, unfortunately, things have backed up. I can't do that tomorrow, but... Uh, so, yeah, if you want to get me a case of almond milk, that would be excellent. Uh, but if you have even fewer, you know, if you have even more dollars than you have cents, uh, I've got PayPal tip jar and a Patreon in the description box below. And as always, bats and kisses and take care of yourselves. And I am so grateful for you and have the exact kind of day you deserve. And goodbye!